Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve a very interesting SQL problem. This was asked in an EPAM coding test. I am going to solve this problem using two methods. You have to tell me which one is better. And at the end, I am going to tell you a bonus trick as well. Okay, so watch this video till end. Now you can read this question. I will just scroll through it. You can pause and read. I will explain you the problem on the SQL Server. But if you want to read, just pause and read. And I will move to SQL Server now. So I have this assessment table. And for this particular data, this is the expected output. Okay, so let me explain the table first. So we have this assessment table, right? So a company is hiring candidates of different experience levels. So this is candidate ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and their total experience 3 years, 5 years or whatever. Now there are three kinds of test companies taking SQL test, algorithm test and bug fixing test, right? Now a student can score from 0 to 100, any score. 100 is a perfect score. If someone is scoring 100, that is a perfect score, right? If there is null, null means it is not zero. Null means this, this assessment was not given to the candidate. This task was not required to solve for that candidate. So candidate ID one was required to solve only SQL and bug fixing. Similarly, candidate ID three was required to solve all three. And candidate ID 2 only algo and bug fixing, right? So null means this task was not given to them. Perfect. Now here's the question. Question says, write an SQL query that for each experience level counts total number of candidates. This is a straightforward, right? So for experience level 5, there are 3 candidates, right? Total candidates is 3 for experience 5. This is fine. Again for Experience 3, there is one student. Experience 1, one student. Right? This is straightforward. Second thing is tricky. How many of them got a perfect score in each category for which they were requested to solve the task? Right? A null means the candidate was not requested to solve task in that category. So what we have to find is in each for each experience level, we have to find number of candidates who scored perfect in all the tests. For example, this guy, Algo was not giving to him. So we will, we can ignore him, ignore this. So in SQL, he scored 100 in bug fixing, he scored 100. So which means he did not score perfect in both the uh, test, right? So this, this candidate will not be counted. So candidate ID 3 will not be counted. And if you see for experience level 3, there is only one candidate. And if you see max score student is 0. Because this is the only student and he has not scored perfect in both the subject he was given. Now look at 5. In 5, this guy was not given SQL interview. But in both of them, he scored perfect. So this is student ID 2 will be counted in experience level 5. Similarly, this one, student ID 5 will also be counted because he scored 100 in all three. But this will not be counted because in one, he scored only 50. So only two students are max score students. So he scored maximum in both all the subjects they were assigned. And similarly for experience level one, if you see experience level one, right? There is one student and he also scored perfect score. So one, one. Right, so this is how we have to drive the table. I hope the question is clear. Now, if you want to try yourself, take the uh, create and insert script from the description box. I will start my solution number one and then two and then I will tell you one bonus trick. Great. So Let's start. So what we will do now, right? Let's work with this table for now. Let's remove the output table. And what we will do, we will create a case statement. What we will do, we will say, if the score is either 100 or null, which means it is a perfect score, right? Null means he didn't have to do anything, right? So let me write it and then I will explain. Case when SQL, right? SQL is the column name. SQL is null or SQL equal to 100. Then 1. Then I am saying and, right? As SQL perfect score right this will be this will tell me or oh, this will be or some problem is null okay 
ओके केस वन एस क्वेल इज नल ऑल एस क्वेल इज कल टू हंड्रेड देन वन एल जीरो यू कैन से एल जीरो एंड एज एस क्वेल परफेक्ट स्कोर राइट सो इफ आई जस्ट रन दिस we are getting in sql who all get the perfect score so all of them have got perfect score if you see because this null means he he is not given this task so we will consider one right and whoever has got 100 those are anyway one similarly we have to get this for all the columns so let me just do this right so instead of sql we will say algo right and algo perfect score right and similarly this is also algo and this is bug fixing bug fixing bug fixing and bug fixing perfect score right let me run this now again okay so the students who have got 1 1 in all three right will be the students who will be counted for perfect score right this guy has got 3 in all three This guy has got three in all three. This guy has got three in all three, right? Other two, this one and this one will not be counted for the perfect score candidates. So what we can do instead of creating three columns, I can simply do plus remove this, then plus remove this. So I will basically sum this, right? And this sum should be equal to three, correct? If a student has perfect score, which means this sum should be equal to three, and as max score subjects, right? So if I just run this now, you see these guys who have got the perfect score have three three, and these two guys have two two, right? So now what can I do? i can simply say whoever has 3 only those i have to count so i will say again on top of that i will put one more case when condition case when this this derivation right equal to 3 then 1 else 0 and as max score flag right so let me run this So if you see these three students who have got max score in all the subjects they were assigned for, they have one 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 and others have zero, right? Now I just have to do a group by on experience, right? Select experience, group by experience. So if I just run this, I will what I will do? I will get count star. that is the one thing we needed right as total candidates right and for this i will just sum it up so it will just count number of students who have got max score in each experience so if it is 1 it will aggregate 0 will be like 0 right it will not be in sum right so experience level 1 total candidates 1 max score 1 so let's validate it here right so this was my input first table right this was my first table that i have created so for 5 2 3 experience level 5 the answer is 5 2 3 so let's check 5 2 3 they have put the max score first and count later let me do that so that we can validate perfectly so i'll just do this and run again okay so if you see 1 1 1 so we have 1 1 1 3 0 1 3 0 1 0 1 and 5 2 3 5 2 3 3 perfectly fine let's validate one more so they have given one more input right so what i will do i will insert this data now instead of that data so i have the insert scripts ready i'll just delete the older data and insert the new data right and let's run it again okay so they are saying 2 1 2 let's see for 2 1 2 3 0 1 3 0 1 7 1 1 7 1 1 20 0 1 20 0 1 so perfectly fine okay so this is my approach 1 let's move on and go to approach 2 which i feel is more dynamic okay so let's see so what i will do i will insert the previous data again okay 
okay great now what we will do let me do select star first put a semicolon because sometimes it shows me error red lines okay so this is my data now what i will do i will unprivate this data basically i will create separate row for sql for algo for bug fixing so for each student i will have three different rows so total 15 rows so i'll say select id comma experience comma sql as score right and i will put one more column to tell that this score is for which subject right it is not required but just for our understanding as subject right so if i just run this right it is telling me that for sql subject score is 100 score is null for each student similarly i will just do run a union all let me know in the comment section why i'm using union all and not union okay so i will have to change the second one is algo let's change it sorry algo and let's hard code it as subject similarly we have bug fixing and here also we will put bug fixing let's run it one more time so if you see this is my sql score for each student this is my algo score for each student and then we have bug fixing score for each student and then just create a ct so that it is easier to write the queries later okay great so now we have all the subject all the marks in different rows instead of different columns right select star from ct right now how it will help you now what we can do we can group data based on id and experience basically we need to group data on id to get the number of scores he got 100 or not but we will take experience as well because ultimately we have to group on experience later so i will say select id experience right and i will do a group by on the same group by okay now what i will do i will do case when same thing right score is null or score equal to zero right then one else zero and right now what i'm doing i'm saying that if the score is null or score equal to zero this is a similar condition that we used then i'm flagging it as one l zero as max score flag right and i will aggregate it so let me just show you what will happen okay so if i just run this now let me take more space okay so similarly we are getting that id3 has max score flag as 0 right id1 has max score flag as 1 right and similarly all those things now what i need to do is i need to check that what is the total score right i need to check that what is the total score so sorry it has to be 100 my bad not zero right i got confused why output is looking different score is null or score score is equal to 100 right so if i just run this i am getting 3 2 3 2 3 right max score count i should call call it right what is the count of max score for each student okay so there are three max score three for id three right this is two three two three now we are at the same same situation where we have to see if this is three then one else zero right if someone has this score max score count as three which means this guy will be counted otherwise he will not be counted so i will put one more case when i will say case when 
this whatever the aggregated value we are getting equal to 3 then 1 else 0 and as max score flag now we can say max score flag or perfect score flag maybe right that will be a better column name so if you see experience id 3 has got perfect score 1 this is 0 1 0 1 right now what we can do we can just aggregate now similar to the other thing but wait i have one more bonus right so i'll say select from if you want you can create one more ct whatever works for you and from this and now we have to do group by experience ultimately we need it data at experience level right and experience count star we will take later we will say sum of perfect score flag so that for each experience level we will get max score students comma count star as total students right let's run this this will give me the output but one thing we can improve here so let's validate quickly so we have this one right above one five two three five two three three zero one three zero one and five and one 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 perfectly fine now i want to the bonus i'm going to explain now so in this method you may be thinking that this method is better because it is a shorter query if you see right it is a long query little bit we have a ct union lot of other things but we can make it dynamic what do i mean by that so we are hard coding three everywhere three right here also if you see we are hard coding three now here because i have the data in multiple rows instead of this three let's say let's say i have a one more column coming tomorrow let's say it is on python or spark so i will add one more union all right the fourth column whatever it will be let's say spark and this will be my spark score currently we don't have right so i can just add here and my query will perfectly works fine the only change i have to make is instead of this three which is hard coded i will say select count of distinct subject from ct right so if there are four subject distinct then i will have four if there are three then three right i don't have to hard code it now i just have to add one more union all here and that's it it will work seamlessly so let's see if this works or not perfect right one 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 three zero one five two three let's validate this query for second set of data so i will just insert this and run my second query right do let me know if you have any better solution or simpler solution for this question i would love to know but let's quickly see it looks fine 212 let's validate so we have 212 3012301 7112001 7112001 perfect okay i hope you like the video you we learned a lot of concept and i hope you will apply this in your work thanks for watching have a good day